So in this video, we're gonna compare the new iPad 9 versus the iPad Air 4. There's actually quite a few similarities that may just make you buy the cheaper iPad over the more expensive one. Let's try to break it down and compare each category, hopefully giving you enough information to decide on which iPad is better for you. One of the biggest differences is definitely going to be the price. The new iPad 9 that was just released, it's only 329 bucks and some places already have it on sale. The iPad Air 4 is 600 bucks and I'm talking about pricing in the United States. You get the same storage options and that's going to be of course for the base storage of 64 gigabytes. You also have an option of 256 gigabytes on both tablets as well. Now screen size is actually going to be very similar on these two. You've got a 10.2 inch on the iPad 9, a little bit larger 10.9 inch on the iPad Air 4. The body of these two iPads are actually very similar. You just have bigger bezels on the top and bottom for the iPad 9. You just have a little bit more screen real estate on the iPad Air 4 with the iPad Air. You get a little more modern design and you get more color options as well. Now in my testing, the iPad Air 4 does seem to be a little bit brighter. It's also a laminated display with an anti-reflective coating. It's also gonna have a little bit better viewing angles. But having said that, if you put these two iPads next to each other, I actually think they both look really good. And I feel most people are gonna be satisfied with the screen resolution, just overall quality of how everything looks. I mean, if you want the iPad with a better screen, it's definitely gonna be the iPad Air 4. Besides the bezels on the top and bottom, I don't think most people would even realize which one's the more expensive iPad. And considering both of these are on iPad OS 15, you're gonna get a very similar experience on both iPads. Now when it comes to battery life on these, it's not a huge difference, but in my testing, I got six hours battery life on the iPad 9 and only five hours and 15 minutes on the more expensive iPad Air. Now keep in mind, that's with screen brightness at 100%. So obviously turn the screen brightness down to about halfway and you're gonna get really good battery life out of these. But if you want the iPad with a better battery life, it's definitely gonna be the new iPad 9. Another thing that's gonna be probably pretty obvious between these two is gonna be performance on the iPad Air 4 is definitely gonna be better than the new iPad 9 and benchmark testing. These two, these two are actually pretty similar in single core scores. The iPad Air 4 is definitely more powerful in multi-core scores. And it's also gonna be more powerful when it comes to the graphics on the iPad Air 4. But again, when using these in real world situations, moving around the software, both of these are really nice and smooth. I don't think I've had really any glitches on either iPad so far. And these two are a lot closer in performance now that the cheaper iPad has the A13 Bionic chip. And when it comes to gaming, the iPad Air 4 is definitely gonna outperform the cheaper iPad 9. But again, I don't think anyone's gonna be playing games on the cheaper one and say, you know what? I wish this iPad was more powerful. It's got plenty of power to play pretty much any game Everything looks nice and smooth, good graphics quality. They load pretty quick on the cheaper iPad. And I think most people are gonna be satisfied with either of these iPads when it comes to gaming. You're also gonna get a headphone jack with the iPad 9. Unfortunately, you don't get that with a more expensive iPad Air 4. Now, when it comes to speakers, I feel like the iPad Air 4 is definitely a little more balanced because you've got them on both sides compared to the iPad 9. Weird thing is when testing these iPads, the speakers on the cheaper iPad 9 
actually sound louder at times. It's just that it's all from one side of the iPad where the iPad Air 4 is a little more balanced and you can hear it on both sides. When it comes to the sound on these, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed in either of these, but if you ask me which one you should buy, just based on speakers and audio alone, yeah, it's definitely gonna be the iPad Air 4. When it comes to cameras on these two iPads, it's kind of strange. You got a better front camera on the iPad 9, especially with that wide angle lens. That actually looks good. You've got a 12 megapixel ultra wide front camera on the regular iPad, and then only a seven megapixel on the iPad Air. But then you have a better rear camera on the iPad Air 4. Here's a few samples of photos and video just to give you an idea of what to expect. You also get USB-C with the iPad Air, where unfortunately the iPad 9 still uses the lightning connector. I don't think that's really a deal breaker, just something I thought I'd point out. The other thing that you may want to consider, the iPad 9 has the Touch ID right there in the front, which in my opinion I actually prefer, it's a little bit easier to get to. The iPad Air 4 has the Touch ID right on the power button, which can be blocked a little bit depending on what kind of case you're using. It still works pretty good, I just don't feel like it works as good as on the iPad 9. You can also use the Magic Keyboard on the iPad Air 4, where the regular iPad 9 only works with the Smart Keyboard. You can only use the first gen Apple Pencil with the iPad 9, but you can use the second gen Apple Pencil with the iPad Air 4. But as far as aftermarket accessories like keyboards, cases, you're gonna find a lot of options with both of these. So hopefully this video will give you a little closer look at the new iPad 9 versus the iPad Air 4. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.